In a world of 3D games that feel round and awesome as planet Earth and not flat because it's old news and old news bores us. Discover a Mario world where everyone, even Bowser minions, are always 2D characters that get more characterization in 5 minutes to a thousand year door Nazi party propaganda video and later have the most recent game in the series where the bad guy is a fur Nazi and holds back to development in the sequel to one of the best Mario and Luigi games ever by folding paper Bowser minions into folded freaks. Paper Mario. A dimension proven beyond a shadow of a doubt from a book in Peach's castle after a scaredy rat freaked Luigi out. And Mario and everyone we know are flat and papery, though the paper outlines themselves are not present around the characters of the paper jam. And instead, the King of Awesome kidnapping Peach and ruling the Mushroom Kingdom with us Koopas on top and Toast just being jealous of his swagoo. Paper Mario travels to exotic lands to do puzzle solving, typical RPG combat, and lots of text. In an RPG series that follows the legacy of seven stars and has weirdness that hinted at the big end obsession with arts and crafts. We know we want Prime 4 and so that's the reason for hanging on the Galactic Federation as well as space pirate troops and transportation for our minion friends in the VA fleet, but don't complain about those coming out of seashells by the seashore. The roots that made people obsessed with the real essence of the Paper Mario franchise as the original game carried on the seven stars legacy. With a long adventure full of characters that originally had charming humor, along with a magic Koopa that's prettier by any other name, and Bowser Minions that were really to be seen outside of the Paper Mario. <laughs> Including a certain Piranha Plant Bear certain wiki refuses to acknowledge as having reappeared in New Super Mario Bros. U in its sequel. And simple leveling, equipment systems, and combat that people so obsess over all day and all night, coupled with the best art styles of any Nintendo 64 game, even on par with Ocarina of Time and Super Mario 64. Just don't compare it to its sequel, The Thousand Year Door, where it created a fanbase of Nazis as vicious as a thousand hillions in chain shops, and improved the formula to godlike levels for Paper Mario turns into an airplane, boat, tube, and sideways paper that can slip through sewers and cells with ease, while having polished and witty dialogue that makes it the Mario RPG game that people put above all others in the developing sequel to Mario Luigi Paper Jam. Just as long as you have the X-Nots always one step ahead of Paper Bowser came in the paper clip tree. Look, all we're saying is that someone should have snapped Paper Peach from Grizzly's clutches and used the crystal stars against a rebellion rather than opening a door resurrected a demon that needed to make it appeal hard to come whole again. Find out firsthand how Paper Mario is starting to be more favorable to the Cooper Troop fans by this big bump of a madman and a mad jester with Super Paper Mario, the third game where Nintendo experimented with styles and more dark writing, as well as have an evil secretary who brainwashes minions and should have stayed dead for her crimes while giving Paper Mario the ability to forbid you in dimensions. Then came the great modern update for the Paper Cooper Troop as each sequel became more faithful to designs of minions like Paper Goombas, Paper Cooper Troopas, Paper Buzzy Beetles, Paper Spinies, Paper Pokies, Paper Cheep Cheeps, and Paper Hammer Bros, while letting more Bowser minions in on the paper action like Spikes, Ice Bros, Sniffets, Scurdy Rats, Bruisers, Fire Pound Pets, and Scuttlebugs. Though it drew disgusted cries from Thousand Year Door Nazis, over paper toads and stickers, destroying simple combat methods and original characters. Does this look familiar to you? Base to platform. What was all that? Report. Protesters against. We've taken care of them. Of course, it came at the cost of having Paper Bowser not say a word at all, which is stupid, but at least we met Paper Kemic and Paper Bowser Jr. One of the new followers of Super P. Claw and Paper Cooper Cooper. Fast forward to 2016's cover spot where the Paper Cooper Troop is being ordered to paint the world black by their master, who is possessed by the black paint. Paper Mario having the paint can Huey as his companion and stickers being placed to cards in the paint. In addition to new paper minions like Bone Goombas, Dino Rhinos, Sludge Bros, Mega Goombas, Patooies, and Michael Goombas, along with the paper couplings that were foreshadowed in Paper Jam. <laughs> Although 
paper Morton had Hulk speech that Morton himself would later inherit. This is the Paper Mario game that Nintendo made before Mario and Luigi Paper Jam 2. Evil Origami Mix brainwashed the Paper Bowser minions into folded freaks while holding back Paper Jam 2's developers plan of diabolical Nazi proportions. <laughs> and temporary partner characters like a paper bop bomb that would have made a great ally in the fight against an evil old white rebellion. Even so having roll a up those papers. fight that requires strategy and expert timing with office supplies as bosses. The Paper Mario series is a roller coaster of fun despite its flaws, and even having the Paper Koopa Troop team up with its real Mario counterpart, including How I Met My Bro. <laughs> with dreams of a sequel like it that were promising, but got crumbled up by Apple Dream's bankruptcy, leading to a very sad moment. <laughs> Ahsoka, why did you leave? Where were you when I needed you? I made a choice. I couldn't stay. You were selfish. No! You abandoned me! You failed me! Do you know what I Super Model Mario, Thin Mint, Twiggy, the Paper King of Awesome, Goom Goom and Goomba, VA Heroes in a Half Shell, Explosive Personality, Beautiful Girls, Too Many Paper Toads, uh, that came out of nowhere. Anyway, Paper Mario, what comes up? The paper must go down in flames of change in modern. You know, couldn't think of doing this project with Matt Jarrett and the boys. Makes me feel that someone could rip off the old Paper Mario game style and pander to people who didn't like the modern Mario site. Similar to that Trunky one, so those have been taken down. Dang it! Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it better than the original version. If you want help with the real progress of Change for Nintendo, please click on the description to save Mario Luigi Paper Jam 2 development and share it with your friends and their friends while having them sign it to himself. And pay no attention to hateful accusations about the hate group that was mentioned. Since we must focus on what the masses need to deserve. Thank you and have a nice day.